Hey, 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 welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today, papakita ko sa inyo paano nyo delimit yung Wi-Fi networks or SSIDs ng PLDT Home Fiber Router. So let's get started. So first, I would like to thank Christopher Nicole Manabat for this solution. Let's get started. First, we're going to enable our um, telnet on our router. So open up your web browser. Bukas tayo ng bagong tab. And open natin yung router natin. If you have a default uh, router, just type in that one, that one. But uh, since I've changed it, 192.168.1.3 and make sure to have forward slash fh. Kunin nyo na lang yung updated credentials sa aking YouTube channel. I'm uploading and updating them as diligent as I can. And make sure na walang trailing spaces or any extra characters para hindi kayo magkaroon ng username error under the debug switch. Make sure to enable the telnet switch and hit apply button. Enable the web admin switch, hit apply button. We're going to log out. Then we're going to log in the admin PLDT. So we're going to open admin PLDT. And uh, for the password again, it's on my channel if you haven't changed that one. But oftentimes it would get changed or you change it. So, tandaan nyo na lang kung ano yung binago yung password dito. For those na nagtatanong kung ano yung server version ng router nyo, once you are able to log in on admin PLDT or admin account ng uh, router nyo, makikita nyo siya dito. So, go to the network tab and uh, make sure that click on the broadband settings under the 2.4G SSID binding enable nyo to lahat and including the 5G SSID binding enable nyo rin siya to ensure na meron kayong internet even if you create another Wi-Fi network later so minimize na muna natin yun and make sure to also hit the apply button after now we're going to open up a command prompt if you haven't installed Telnet yet click the start menu and look for programs and features click the apps and feature and uh, scroll down to see the programs and feature under related settings. Click the turn windows features on or, on or off. Scroll down to see the telnet client and make sure that it is checked. Hit the OK button. Once done, it would install the required files on your computer. Once you're done, open up command prompt by going to the start menu, right click it and click on the command prompt as administrator. If you don't have Windows 10, click the start menu, search for the command prompt and right click on it and uh, click the run as administrator once you're here already we're going to connect through telnet so type in telnet and your router ip address for the login type in gpon for the password type 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 again gpon under the user type new enable for the password gpon again for the um, config we're going to type in cd pon once you're already on this configuration we're going to type in set ssid rate limit ssid and kung anong uh, ssid yung meron kayo or which particular ssid yung gusto nyong ilimit so right here we have four ssids that are basically 2.4 gigahertz so basically this is 0 1 2 3 and yung 4, 5, 6, 7 are the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi address. So once you have chosen kung ano yung ililimit nyo, for example, we're going to limit this particular um, SSID, which is the first 2.4 gigahertz um, Wi-Fi. Minimize lang natin to. That's, uh, if the first 2.4 gigahertz, that's around SSID 0. And then type in... DIR, type in all, and max rate, max underscore rate, and type nyo na dito kung ilan yung limit na gusto nyo. So if you want to limit it by around 5 Mbps, type nyo 5000 Kbps. The rate here is by Kbps. And then once done, hit nyo enter, and it will apply the settings. Um, Just take note, if you want to remove the rate limit or the max rate limit, just type the same configuration configuration and type in here 0 and that would reset and remove the rate limit on the particular SSID. That's it. If um, this video helped you, leave a like and comment down below. Una pagana nyo to. And uh, if do you think um, this is helpful, 
let me know. Click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet. And bell notification to get updated tips, tutorials, gameplays, and many more. So till then, see you in my next video.